Here we go, back again with another match day preview and I thought, because I've been out and about doing a run down Sunderland around the stadium of light, 17 laps in an hour got the whole vlog on my other channel, The Mad Mistake Visits there's a link down below in the description pop over, subscribe to The Mad Mistake Visits and watch me run around the stadium of light for an hour only if you want to but yes, I'm here down outside the stadium of light and Sunderland are going away to Huddersfield on Wednesday night Yes, Huddersfield, John Smith Stadium, Huddersfield second off bottom, Sunderland, I think we're in 16th place at this moment in time, last three games for Sunderland, you know, we've lost to Blackburn, we've lost to Burnley, we drew to Luton on Saturday, now it's time to put the past to the past, we're starting to get players back, let's move forward with a victory on Wednesday night, a difficult game, Huddersfield, you know, playing I think a little bit sort of not playing as well as they have over the last few seasons so I do think Huddersfield's form will pick up at some point during the season so yes I'm gonna sit down now I'm shattered absolutely shattered of running for an hour and two minutes round and round the stadium of light right calf's a bit sore need a good drink but I'm gonna do the start of this preview here I thought while I'm here I'll have a five minute chill out and we'll have a chat so Sunderland go to the John Smith Stadium Huddersfield there's no Clark he's suspended got that silly yellow card against Luton who will come in Patrick Roberts may start possibly we may even start Sims as well do we change the midfield do we bring Mitchu in for his first start and drop Dan Neal do we leave it the same is Embleton a super sub Patterson's doing really well Bailey Wright in defence no point changing the defence around if there's no defenders coming back look on nine right back Bailey Wright Bart Cirque and left back unless we're going to go three at the back tough game I'm after three points you know Let's forget about the past. Let's start a new slate on Wednesday night. Let's feel positive, look positive. Let's believe in the team. Hopefully the team can do the business for the fans going down there Wednesday night for midweek game before we have Cardiff at home on Saturday. Touchwood, three points. Right, I'm going to go back to the studio now and get a little bit about Huddersfield, about the ground, about when they were founded and all that shenanigans. And I'm going to go and hydrate because I'm absolutely shattered. See you in a bit. There we have just been in the Stadium of Light shop, met Mick Griffiths, a moderator on my channel, does a fantastic job with his lovely wife, and I've purchased something in the shop. I've been for a run for an hour and two minutes, done 17 laps of the, of the track of the Stadium of Light, and I've trepped myself. The last time I trepped myself was to a hat from the Love Supreme shop, but now I've trepped myself from something from the Sunderland shop, support the Sunderland shop, as, you know, it's open. We've wanted it to be open, now it's open. We can go in and sell all sorts of absolutely fantastic gear, I've got myself a, a nice new top. I'm going to model it in the house in a bit. So stick around for the preview for the Huddersfield game. Thank you. So there we go, modeling the new top from the Stadium of Light. £29, absolutely lovely. Give a wiggle. There we go. I do like that top very much. It's a nice one of those baggy ones from the 1992 FA Cup run. When we got to the final, got a bit of Liverpool, but it was a good, successful FA Cup run. Johnny Byrne was playing. I love Gary Bennett, but there we go. It's actually, it's very nice material. I really do like that. I've treated myself after doing one hour of running around the Stadium of Light. I've finally settled myself down and I've got myself one Peretti. Yes, one Peretti. I thought I'd treat myself to Peretti and I'll let you know what it's like. I've had one of these before in a pub. 4.8% volume. Cheers! I need this. Ah. Ah. That tastes nice. So we are moving on to Huddersfield versus Sunderland match preview. Right! I did say, because we are doing the table, the table of you know, the whole season to win a brand new Sunderland shirt. There was loads of people who got the correct score for Luton versus Sunderland ones at Peach. Bear with me while I go through these. Conrad Tank, only fools and horses. One person got the correct score, but doesn't go into the big book of C, and this is the reason why. He said, or she said, or someone said, run, I think it's R-U-W-N, Either 2-2 two, two, or 1-1. One, one. You cannot do both. Pick one or the other. 
Sorry, I kind of give you a point for that. Rim Reaper, well done. Rim Reaper gets another point. Kev Max 77 Mick Griffiths, who I met today in the Sunderland shop. Yes, I did. Him and his lovely wife. Moderator on the channel. Andrew Simpkus. Lee from Florida. Lee from Florida. Graham Walker. Kip Vader. Alan Robinson. Alex Dixon, who won the hat. The other day, I met him at the Hilton Hotel to give him his prize. Philip Emerson, Carl Whitaker, Death Nell, David Edwards, the Life Less Ordinary, Kyle Marvin, Andrew Palmer, all got the correct score. And we'll be going into the Big Book of C. And, yes, Rim Reaper moves on to three points. But at the moment, Chris Wilkins and Liam Nickel are on four. So well do, done to those two gadgies. I'm going to do, like I said, like I said before, I've given away a PSG shirt. I've got the, the Real Madrid shirt up there. I'm going to hand over, I think, to the Cardiff match. Let me know, Andrew, if you're definitely going to be there, I'll bring it along to the Cardiff match and remind me on a Friday. Because my memory's shite. I need to remember that. And also the hats. We've given away three prizes so far. Now, another prize in the mid-season. I did say I was going to give away booby prizes. Not so much booby prizes, because they're absolutely fantastic prizes. Next prize is amazing. I want to give away... This <laughs> I know, amazing is amazing is, that's a really good prize. I'm going to give this away and I'm going to be doing a mini table. It's going to be a mini table, a mini table between now and the break of the World Cup. So we've got three to four games, there's a three games left. It's a mini table and uh, the winner will get, I know everybody's been out there being saying, you know, the love, the new hat, the love, the love supreme hat. Now, I popped into the love supreme shop today for a couple of minutes. Fantastic shop. Every time I go in, I just want to buy food. It smells absolutely amazing in there. Because they sell, they sell a cafe. It's a cafe. Yes. And, the, you know, the staff are really, really welcoming in there. And fantastic place to go. They sell some really good Sunderland gear in there. Love supreme Sunderland gear. So, for the mini table between now and the break before the World Cup, you have a chance to win your very own, very own, yes, never been won before, Love Supreme hat. Look at that. Twinsies, there we go. Love Supreme hat. Your chance to win that. I'm going to see how many games it is between now and the mini break. And you get a point for every score prediction correct. And you'll go on this mini table. You'll also get the points for the big book to see as well. But... Three or four games, I think it's three games it is. Mini table, and if there's numerous people together, have the amount of points, you get a point for every score prediction. And then if there's a few together, have maybe two or three points, you go into the hat to win the hat. So there we go. I thought I'd buy us all, well, I thought I'd buy one. So it'd be the fourth giveaway, giveaway hat already. Absolutely fantastic, there we go. Now we'll move on to the match preview. Finally, after all that shenanigans. Don't forget to leave you. Score prediction down below in the comment section to be in it to win it, and you've got to be a subscriber. And don't forget to support your local shop at Sunderland and also the Love Supreme shop. Right, we are going to the John Smith Stadium down at Huddersfield. The Terriers were founded back in 1908, 114 years young. Yes, it's Halloween. I'll just start putting that out there. I haven't got much Halloween stuff around apart from my face. This is a bit scary, isn't it? Anyway, 24,000 people have allowed into the John Smith Stadium, which opened back in 1994. Now, they've had a couple of managers this season. The Scottish guy, 39-year-old, who played for Norwich, 69 games and scored three goals, Mark Fotheringham. I hope I haven't killed your name there, Mark Fotheringham. He is the coach, caretaker, manager, whatever he is. He's at Huddersfield at this moment in time. And Huddersfield, you know... They're in 23rd place, second off bottom. But they've won four games. They've only won one game less than Sunderland. They've drawn three, lost nine. Minus five, 17 points. But they're only five points behind Sunderland, who are in 16th place. And we've won three, drawn three. No, we've won five, drawn six, and lost six, of course. Duh. 22 points. Huddersfield. You know, they don't score many goals, but they don't let many goals in. Last few games, Huddersfield won mill wall nil. Very good result of the weekend for Huddersfield. So, you know, there's no going down to this game on Wednesday and expecting a victory. We've got to go down there and earn the rights to win this game of football because Huddersfield are absolutely on fire at this moment in time. And, of course, the drew against Middlesbrough. They got beat off Preston. They got beat off Rotherham, but then they beat Hull. So they've had two wins, 
two losses and a draw in the last five games. Yuke Nakimawa. I know I've just pronounced that completely wrong. You, you want to shut up, you? Yuta Nak Yama Nakima. <laughs> 25 years of age. You will call him Nakimawa. Anyway, he scored the goal against Millwall, the Japanese centre-back. Well done, mate. Well done. Class player for Huddersfield. Danny Ward, 30 years of age, 62 games, 17 goals. The Welsh Gadge. I think he's Welsh. I don't know if he's Welsh. Danny Ward, anyway, plays for Huddersfield. So there we go. While we digest on that, I want to go through a little bit of something. Because there is some news. So the Weir fans are to be banned, banned from the Stadium of Light. Anyway, for taking in certain objects. Now, I've mentioned about the netting going up, but Sunderland have banned the Weir fans from bringing coins and vapes into the Stadium of Light. Now, how can you stop you from bringing coins and vapes into the Stadium of Light? The new measures have been introduced after an increase in the disorder this season, including championship matches at home to Coventry and Burnley. All the way supporters will now be searched before entering the ground and anyone found possessing these items will be asked to discard them. The charges will come into effect from this Saturday's game for the Hudders for the Cardiff match at home. Away supporters at the stadium night are now currently housed in the upper tier. We know that. There has been numerous incidents of people throwing things. The club said in a statement there will be increased stewarding, enhanced lighting in the away section and also aligned with the improvements of CCTV and better identification of antisocial behaviour. Any vapes found will be discarded while coins will be donated to the away club's nominated charity. There you go, away fans don't bring coins or vapes to the stadium of light. Now you can, you know, there's no guarantee these, these can't be hidden on a person. This is the final step before they do netting. We need netting. We need to bring netting into the stadium light. Never mind pissing about with extra security, this, that, and you're there. Anybody can sneak anything into anywhere, orifices and all this. If they really wanted to get them in the stadium light, they will get them in the stadium light, no matter how much you search these people. How are you going to search all these people in that small amount of time away fans get to the stadium light early? Netting is the only answer at this moment in time. We need netting up at the stadium light. You're banned from bringing vapes and coins in. Right, back to the Huddersfield game. Huddersfield, head to heads. And Sunderland have won 37, drawn 26 and lost 24. Head to heads. 2003, oh, pardon me, was the last time we played Huddersfield in a cup. We lost 4-2. But back in the league, back in 1999. Yes, that, God rest his soul, Prince. Fabulous song, 1999. We won 2-0. 41,000 people at the stadium of light. And a good player called Niall Quinn scored a goal with Kevin Ball and Kevin Phillips in the team as well. So that was the last time we beat them back in 1999. Oh, what a year. Ah, I will be doing a live stream for that match on Wednesday. A live stream for Wednesday. Don't forget to join, to join in. Join in. Yes, so team news. Now, we're losing Jack Clark on Wednesday for being stupid and kicking the ball away. But we'll forgive him because he's a young lad. We all do mistakes and we regret. You know, the spur of the moment, the heat of the moment. You're going to do something you might regret. So how do we get combat for that? Now, you know, I, that, that's the team. I play 4-1-4-1. Because it worked well in the past, or has it? I don't know. O'Brien. Any O'Brien, any O'Brien, any, any, any O'Brien. He left ages ago. It's all nine is right back. We got right, Bart, and Serkin is left back. Patterson. I'd have Evans in there just as that safety net. Sunderland put safety nets in at the stadium of light. I'd have Evans in there. Then Roberts back on the right hand side. Pritchard on the left. And Mish, I'll bring Mishoot in. I'll bring Mishoot in and Neil. Now, I may have dropped somebody. I don't really realise if I have. I think Mishoot. I'm mad. Right, that's the situation. Sims up front. Now, do we have Sims up front or not? Now, because Tony Mowbray says that Sims is not ready to start a game of football until after the World Cup, we're going to give him an extra few minutes, extra few minutes, extra few minutes. I don't see Sims starting, even though we all want Sims to start. I think Ahmad will start on Wednesday night and hopefully they'll put a shift in. Now, Mishoot and Neil, do we bring Embleton in? Is it Embleton or do you have Mishoot? Who would you have? 
Embleton in there or Neil and Mishu. That's the team I think is going to start. That's the team I kind of start. I'd be tempted to put Bennett here on the subs bench or even Bennett at the start. But I think I'm mad ahead of Bennett at this moment in time. So that's the overall picture I think that will happen on Wednesday night. Score predictions. I'm going to go for a 3-1 away win. Mishu to get his first goal for Sunderland. There we go. 3-1 away win. I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog preview i hope you're going to enjoy and, and join in with the with the the live stream and also i will be having another video up tomorrow probably for me running around the stadium of light and getting a world record in my mind anyway because i don't think they've been done before but running around the stadium light for a whole hour there was one or two bits of raindrops fell down onto the cam and i do apologize the footage isn't that good but I did it anyway, my calf's a bit sore, watch out for that footage, I will upload it tomorrow, probably on the Mad Mistake Visits. Thanks for watching, take care, God bless me, go, go with you, please subscribe to the channel. Oh, Barifico, Angeletto, Poretti, there we go, I'm good at Italian. Mamma mia, bella bella, not a spaghetti bolognese. Mm. That's nice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy your happy Halloween. Pop over on SFC official website, or, or sorry, on the official YouTube channel. You're gonna go over there and watch the Sunderland players going to psychopaths and being scared. It's hilarious, especially Dan Neil. <laughs> he makes me laugh. He's hilarious. See you later. Bye.